Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how we can use a neural network, a machine learning algorithm to generate random abstract art. Make sure to like and subscribe for the most powerful algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about neural networks, check out this video. And if you wanna learn about some tools you could use for machine learning, check out this video. All right, let's get right into it. So today, the algorithm that we're going to be um, implementing is going to be generating images like this. And basically, what these images are, are the resultant of a neural network that we wrote that will basically generate random images. And I'm going to show you how to do this with no machine learning uh, uh, libraries at all. We're just going to be using NumPy, and that's what's so special about today's video, because we're only using NumPy. This is pure. Python from scratch, no libraries, just NumPy. So towards the bottom, we have really essential definitions. So we have the dot product definition, which is because the neural network is a set of dot products. We have addition, which will help us um, in the future, which I'll explain in a little bit. And we also have the feed forward aspect of the model, which makes a neural network a neural network. The fact that it's adjusting weights as it progresses through the model. So this algorithm is a little bit different because it doesn't actually back propagate because you see, we're not trying to improve the accuracy of the model. We're simply trying to output some random image, some random piece of art. Um, back propagation would be for a problem like classification or regression, but since that's not the issue at hand and that we're only just trying to produce a random piece of art, we're not gonna need that process and our inputs are simply going to be um, the amount of color channels and a bunch of different variables that I'm going to describe later that will truly define what the picture will look like in the output. So now we're going to start by taking our neural network class and defining it. So we do the following. Uh, we define how the neural net is going to look like with the input dimensions and how it's going to take different types of activation functions. So we'll have a bunch of activation functions that you'll see listed here. For example, ReLU, Sigmoid, um, 10H, and et cetera. And we're gonna be using all of these because these actually determine how the image looks like in the output. So having all of these defined will be able to allow us to do a bunch of different things and manipulate the image output. So this whole piece of code is just defining our, as you see on the right, is just defining um, what activation functions we have at hand and how they'll be used within our neural network. So we start out with five basic inputs and based on whether the model uses an alpha channel or not, we'll have three to four outputs. Uh, without an alpha channel, it'd be three outputs being red, green, and blue. And if we did use an alpha channel, it'd be using red, green, blue, and a variable A. So now the following block of code is basically showing us um, how we actually use the neural network class and inputting parameters. And it also defines different color classes we might have because RGB is not the other color classes we, we can have. We, we have a bunch of varieties of different color variations we can have within our model. And that's what makes this neural network so unique. For now to keep it safe and within values of negative one and one, we'll be using the activation function 10H. Um, and now let's go on to image generation and what that looks like in code. So basically to generate the image, just so you know, in our image generation, we have a bunch of different inputs that we need to consider. And if you wanna visualize kind of what's going on, if you have a 2D matrix, we're basically populating that 2D matrix with RGB values, and that's how we're able to get our output, which is our abstract art image. We get an output that looks like this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. We'll be doing more project-based videos in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions about what we did here, make sure to leave them down below. For now, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.